There are many things I used to be good at. I wouldn't consider myself a jack of all trades, master of none. I'm a jack of all trades, master of one and a half. I'm good at singing. It's a talent and a skill, and I'm good at it. I used to be good at gymnastics, bike riding, dancing, and wall ball. I can't do a handstand. I can't bike for more than five minutes. The last time I danced was for a friend's quinceanera, and it was a favor for her. My friends stopped wanting to play wall ball in eighth grade, opting for handball or foursquare instead. I can paint. Nothing extravagant, but with enough time and paper towels, I can paint Simon Snow, the logo for the front bottoms, or whatever abstract manifestation of my thoughts comes out. I can sculpt. I'm getting better. My first frog was very lumpy, but my latest one has a bow. I can write, although this particular thing can be rough. I can write songs, except for when I can't. I can write poetry, when I have something to write about. I can write stories, when my brain cooperates. I can write essays, but only on the day they're due. I can't write. I want to be an author. I think that perhaps I don't want to be an author. I think that perhaps I just want to write. I think that perhaps I just want to create. Because I can write. I can sing. I can play five instruments. I can draw. I can paint. I can sculpt. I can still do a front flip as long as I have a mat. I have a brain that doesn't like itself. I have a brain that tells me I'm not good enough. I have a brain that tells me what's the point in starting if you're never gonna finish. I have a brain that makes me want to die. I have a brain that longs for a self-destruct button. I have a brain that plays the long game. What is the long game? There is no self-destruct button. I do not want to die. My brain does, so it plays the long game. It hinders me, it holds me back. It tells me there is no point, but there is a point. I can write. I can't write when I'm told, but I can write when I need to. My brain has a hard time with the fact that sometimes being told to write means that I need to, if not for me, then for my future. Because my brain never thought I'd have a future. Because I used to think that too. But I do have a future, even though I don't know what that means.